All right, so we're in a brand new network RV off grid. I think it's a 16 footer, maybe a 17 footer, so quite small. Uh, it's a couple's van, as you can see, just a double bed, lounge area, kitchen. Um, so for, straight off the bat, not a lot of roof space. And unfortunately with this van, um, this van came from the factory with a pressurization system um, that's been put somewhere. Um, so we, we were really, really struggling with roof space on this van. So um, what we've what we sort of, what we were asked to do from the owner is to give them a system uh, that they could comfortably run 240 volt appliances, sometimes run their air conditioner, uh, you know, just generally run kitchen appliances and, and the usual um, female beauty products that you might want to use when you're camping, for example. Uh, so they previously had a camper trailer that had, I think, a 400 amp hour lithium system with a 3000 watt inverter. Um, being a camper trailer, they couldn't charge that um, only when they were driving and maybe from some portables. So um, when they decided to change over to this van, um, they thought they might be able to get away with not having a system. So they got it from the factory with a standard AGM system, solar regulator in the overhead cupboard, you know, your battery charger under the bed, your two AGMs down on the chassis. Within the first couple of trips, they worked out that wasn't for them. They, they wanted all the luxuries that they used to have in their camper trailer, so came to us and we had a bit of a chat. And, you know, understanding the limitations of this particular van with its size, um, we've given them quite a substantial system that is capable of doing all of the jobs, all of the jobs that they want it to be able to do. They can run their air conditioner as we speak. It's running, it's running on 22 degrees uh, from the inverter. Uh, we're in full sun, so you know, we're getting a little bit of feedback from, from the solar at the moment. Um, we've also got the fridge running on the inverter as well, so it's a three way fridge, so it can run off 240 off grid if you want it to there's a fridge switch up here so if you don't want to use that you don't have to you can run it on gas uh, yeah so what we've given them is a 560 amp hour system um, maximize a roof space as best as possible we utilize the existing uh, two 200 watt panels that came with the van and then we've also included four 100 watt high voltage drive panels uh, so as I say, the roof space is quite tricky, so we had to play a little bit of Tetris on the roof. Um, so one panel there, sort of, you know, all around the roof. So we've got 400 watts extra, so 800 watts in total. But what we've also done with this particular van is given them the ability to plug in, in a couple of different spots, um, portable panels. So there's a, there's a place for them to plug in some portables at the rear of the van, and there's also a place for them to plug in at the front. So, should they need their extra um, their extra solar when they're parked up for extended periods of time, they can put two blankets in or two portable panels or you know up to 600 watts worth of panels through the DC-DC that they can then utilize as well. So potentially can have up to about 1400 watts of solar on this van, which is awesome. That's perfect, that's a, that's a really nice amount. Um, so we've as I say, we've got two solar regulators, we've got the 2600 watt inverter, um, the 560 amp hour battery, and our full Symarine monitoring package. So, you know, monitoring our solar coming in from the roof, monitoring our portables, battery monitor, um, we give some temp readouts here as well through Symarine, all in the overhead cupboard, all easy to use. Turn your inverter on in the overhead cupboard as well so that as soon as you turn your inverter on everything is live in the van so we've modified this van to be a full off-grid machine um, so now these guys can pretty much run everything i've even given the ability to run their hot water system if they want to because they've got such a big battery they can comfortably use their uh, electric hot water if they want to uh, when they're off grid you know they these guys also um, travel quite a bit so they might only stay in a place for one or two days and then they get back on the road again and travel so they're charging their battery from sun 
and the DCDC at the same time from the vehicle. So that gives them the ability to put in substantial, substantial recharge and substantial time. So all in all, it's a pretty simple, pretty good system for a pretty small van and pretty simple system all said and done. So cheers guys. Let's have a look at the build.